Hey everyone, welcome to Spin and Sippin, where we talk all things vinyl, all things music. But let's be honest, you come here to really just watch me drink this espresso. I love the tiny cups. So today I want to talk to you guys about uh, finding out how much your record collection is actually worth. The records behind me are all the ones that I um, have in my collection. I consider them part of my essential record collection. Uh, I also have like, you know, a box of records that are kind of compilation records. Uh, things that I don't really, I wanna wanna mix them up with, with my good records, I guess you could say. Um, and I'm not like a hoarder of records. I don't uh, collect just to collect. I play almost all my records. There's probably like three or four that I just kept in plastic, but for the most part, I, I spin all my records and I enjoy them, but someday I might want to sell them. So we're going to use Discogs to calculate how much uh, the records are worth, and um, so you don't get ripped off by you know someone if you're trying to sell these records at a you know a local record shop or something. You don't want to get ripped off. And we're going to be using Discogs uh, to catalog our records to find out how much they're worth in comparison to uh, what we consider the shape to be in and uh, we'll get an average price from that, and we'll get a maximum price, we'll get a minimum price, and a median price to how much our records are worth. So let's dive into it. Okay, so here we have my Discogs profile. It's spinning and sipping, of course. And um, so if you don't have a profile already on Discogs, get one. Uh, you just need your email address, it's pretty easy to set up. But once you get that all set up with your email address and you are uh, able to see your collection, uh, your collection would be empty, of course, if you had just um, made an account. But here's my collection. It's now organized by artist A through Z. But we can uh, you know, change it to however we want. Um, newest editions, oldest editions. You can even change it by, you know, price. But, um... What you're gonna to wanna to do when you first open a Discogs uh, profile is you're gonna to wanna to, uh, enter in your your records. So let's say we have Talking Heads. All right, and there's a bunch of different versions. So it's Talking Heads 77, let's see. You know, if you have the LP, the original LLP, the cassette, each track, um, you will have to find out which record you own, um, which would be easily identified usually by the catalog number on the record. It's on the spine of the record, but it's also on the back. It's also sometimes on the record label in the middle of the actual physical record. So let's say we own the original. You're going to want to click the arrow to the right, add to collection. Then you can go back to your collection to see that it's been added. Uh, we'll organize it by new list to show that. And there you have it, Talking Heads, Talking Heads 77. Uh, 1977, that's the one we have. So, as you can see here, there's a minimum price, a medium price, and a maximum price. This is the most it's ever been sold for on this car. So this is probably a pristine condition, never been opened, uh, vinyl, most likely. And then there's the median version, which is usually, uh, it might have been played a few times, but it's in really great condition, no like visible large scratches, anything like that. And then there's the minimum, uh, amount it's been sold for, which is $18. So this has been, you know, it's been played quite a bit. There's some scratches, um, but it usually doesn't affect the, uh, well, hopefully it doesn't affect the quality of the music too much, but they'll usually tell you on Discogs, like, and they'll give some notes on the vinyl. So, uh, more often than not, if you have played the vinyl, you'll have the median price. If it's been, you know, if it hasn't been opened, you'll, you'll probably get the max price for it. So let's say we keep adding, you know, let's keep adding, let's go Tom Waits. Keep adding vinyls. For the sake of it, let's just, you know, do it real quick. Closing time. Closing time. Add to collection. Check out my collection. It's there. Maximum $336. Not bad. So <clears throat> to see the maximum, uh, once you've added all your records, Click Max, it'll show you the highest price record you own. 
So these were just for example, I'm gonna remove the tongue weights. So my most uh, expensive vinyls, if they've never been opened or anything like that, would be The Doors, Strange Days, the Diana Ross, Mark Gay uh, promo, and then the list goes on. So, <clears throat> like I said, the max price would be like those pristine records you own. This would not be my maximum uh, record collection price because I play my records. So. Most likely, I'm, I'm looking at the median price range, which is four thousand four hundred seventy-five dollars. Not bad. I own about three hundred and fifty records, um, so for three hundred and fifty records, median price. That's I'm pretty impressed by that. And my record collection is growing, you know, with each month. So not too bad. But this is one way you can you can figure out the the worth of your record collection. It's a very easy way to do it, and it's um, something I recommend you doing before you actually go and sell your records on Discogs or eBay, or if you go and trade in your records at a record store, at least you know the price of um, what, what they're worth, basically. So I hope this video helped. Um, if you have any questions about Discogs, uh, I just got into it in the last year, but it's been around for a while. Um, you can buy and sell records online, and then also you can get a, you know, a, a collection value estimated by Discogs. And again, it's it's purely based on the sales that other sellers on this box have made. Um, your record could be worth more, you know, if you have a signed record, it could be worth a lot more. Or, you know, it could be worth a lot less if you have a record that's really beat up, the sleeve is, you know, complete garbage, and there's scratches all throughout the record, it doesn't play. It could be, it could be minimum or, or, or less, you know, so this is purely based off sales on Discogs. So take it with a grain of salt, but this is probably the easiest way to find out the worth of your record collection. So there you have it. That's a simple way to find out the value of your record collection without having to go to uh, I don't know, an appraiser or a record store owner and to judge, you know, what they think your record collection's worth. This is based on sales on the Discogs platform and what they've sold for at the most, what they sold for at the least, and what they sell for somewhere in the middle. So. I think regular folks like you and I, uh, who just who play records but also collect them, um, you'll probably find the median price range. If you take good care of them, uh, they're not super beat up, but you do play them, you're looking you know, at the median price range, the average price of a record sold. Uh, so keep your records in good condition because they could be worth a lot someday. Um, who knows? But also records are getting repressed like crazy, so that could drive the value down as uh, the scarcity of the records, you know, is not so scarce anymore. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you uh, found something useful out of it. I'm gonna make another video uh, going over like more in depth of the mint and the, the near mint values of records. There's a whole value system that comes along with uh, record collecting which uh, can be kind of confusing and it's very particular. So I'll be making another video about that. So stay tuned, subscribe, like, and I'll see you next time.